um, there's I have in my notes here that I wanted to pass on. And, you know, the December 21 just happened. You know, the Biden administration has changed the federal procurement process. So we have more contracts for small disadvantaged businesses, SBSs. And that government spending number used to be statutorily 5%. He's now moved that to 11%. Oh, great. So that's, that's a, a new, new deal, and it's a pretty big deal. And that hits uh, Latino-owned, African-American-owned businesses are absolutely part of that. So uh, the president sees it. But to talk about some of the broader pieces you're, you're talking on, I mean, workforce development, I served my first two years in education and labor and, you know, I've got a 100% labor rating and I love the education piece and visit a lot of uh, great labor operations at IBEW. I just met with them probably a month or two months ago up in Hagerstown, working on a workforce development idea there with IBEW, you know, all kinds of stuff over in Lanham, pipe fitters, and a number of the other uh, unions that have workforce development and do it really well. But we got to get it, just what Raul said, in sooner. High school, you know, we're not in a K to 12 anymore. And then, then, then community college or college. We need to look at it as K to 14. Mm -hmm. It all has to be free. Community college must and should be and has to be free. Many states, it already is. If Tennessee can have free community college, I mean, hello, hello. Maryland's a hell of a lot richer state than Tennessee. We have to have free community college. But our kids, Ed, to your point, you're, you're dead on. They don't see the different opportunities to be a, a, a tradesman, work in one of the trades, be a, be a plumber, make a great wage, you know, be an IT software developer. Phenomenal. Go into agribusiness. I grew up on a farm and I understand agribusiness. And agriculture, man, I love agribusiness. Man, that, that's that's great stuff. And, you know, I, I, it was an unbelievable experience. But but they don't see this, our young people don't. So our education system is failing to teach them in ninth and eighth and ninth and 10th and 11th grade, what are the possibilities? And then show those because our education system just says, oh, you should go to four-year college just like your teachers went to. Mm -hmm. and, and that doesn't make any sense because none, everybody wants to go to a four-year college and, and study, you know, history or English. And, you know, I may have loved that, but boy, some folks didn't have the, don't have the means and they don't really have the, that's not their thing. They want to work with their hands, but we got to show people the options, the choices. And there's so many great jobs in America and, and but people don't see them, our kids. So our, I think our education systems wants people to look like they look. They got to stop that. They need to, you know, try and meet people where they are and where they want to be. So this workforce development. And so as we go through appropriations, Sonny and Sarah, you know, let's keep looking at all 12 appropriate bills, you know, and there's, they're all over the agricultural committee. I mean, you know, workforce development ideas there. I mean, they've got tons of money in the Ag Committee. And if we find some community funded projects, that was an area people didn't tap. And we saw money there that we could win and get. So if you guys have ideas again in some of these things, you know, we'd love to run with them. And, and you know, we studied, we did a download of every single community funded project that Congress gave last year. We're the only office, I guarantee you, that looked at every single project, how much every project got, what bucket it fell into, the funding, how they figured the funding, what their case was. We analyzed everybody in the whole country, whole congressman that got them. So we could figure out this year how we skin the cat better and we get bigger grants for our people because it's our people that we want to represent the sixth district. I don't care about South Dakota. I'm sorry. What I care about is, is, is Maryland. And so help us on ideas there. You're on, on track. Um, and uh, thank you for you know, bringing it up.